Praise King Jesus, sons and daughters of God, in the name of Jesus. Today I am here again with a very important topic, and that is defeating redesigning powers. Defeating redesigning powers. And our scripture is taken from Matthew chapter 19, verse 12. Matthew chapter 19, verse 12 says, For there are some eunuchs which were born from their mother's womb. And there are some eunuchs which were made eunuch of men. And there be eunuch which have been which have made themselves eunuch for the kingdom of heaven's sake. He that is able to receive it, let him receive it. This passage of the scripture makes us to understand that there are some eunuchs who did not want to be eunuch, but which were made eunuchs by men. That is, their lives were redesigned by other men. In Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 6 says, Fool is set in a great dignity, and the rich is seated in the low place. Here we see the arrangement. The rich has been brought down, while the foolish is promoted to the top one way or another. Praise King Jesus. In Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 7 says, I have seen servants upon horses and princes walking as servant upon the earth. There are so many masquerading princes around who has been redesigned to become servant. God has created everyone uniquely. Everything you need to succeed has been incorporated in your life on the day you were created. God has original intention for your life. He has something written about you. God has a specific blueprint for all the human beings he has created. But there are some wicked powers that redesign people. They were the powers that captured Saul. He began with prophecy, but gradually these evil powers began their evil work. And by the time they finished, Saul began to consult witches. He began with prophecy and ended up with witchcraft. The redesigning power did not stop until the prophet became a witch. When these redesigning powers begin their operation, all advice to their victims fall on a deaf ears. They no longer listen to someone. They consider counselings and warning as foolish. When they hear a message that that's supposed to make them break down and cry to the Lord to change them, they will not be moved because the evil designers have started their work operations. This power moves a person from a superior life to an inferior one. It is a disgrace for a servant to capture the horse of a believer. And it is not right for the enemy to move them from the front to the back. This redesigning power marred the point in the hand of a potter in order to spoil the original design. This problem has been affecting many people right from when they are in the womb. Some of the problems they leave deliverance ministers confused are problems from the womb. A person who has been designed by this power to become a witch, as we can see in the case of Saul. A person that has been originally designed to pursue an international career can be redesigned to a local champion. It could be the original design of God to make somebody the owner of a large company. But if care is not taken, the person could be redesigned by this power to have petty business. A person designed by God to be brilliant could be redesigned into a dollar by this power. As a matter of fact, unless there is a divine intervention, most redesigned people die in that state. Beloved, at this juncture, I would like us to pray before we continue. I want you to repeat this prayer after me. Say, any power assigned to suck me like an orange, die in the name of Jesus. Any power assigned to suck me like an orange, die in the name of Jesus. Any power stealing what will announce me to the world, 
die in the name of Jesus. Any power stealing what will announce me to the world, die in the name of Jesus. Sign that a person is under the attack of redesigning powers. Sign that a person is under the attack of redesigning powers. A person who is under the attack of evil designers will become a spectators in life. Such a, such a person is consigned to the dustbin of life. The person get left over instead of his entitlement. No man cares to know his name or who he is. He has talent, but the talent is not recognized. It expires with him. Such a person would be captured by a force of limitation. Anytime he arise and want to move, a voice will say, No, this is how far you will go. You cannot go further. Somebody in the secondary school who has procured abortion is being wasted. Some young people do not realize that the fellow who is saying I love you to them is actually telling them to redesign their lives and to waste them. That I love you is from the bottom of the is, is from the bottom of the pit. It is redesigning powers that turn breadwinners into beggars. They repackage a person contrary to how God has packaged him. How to deal with redesigning powers. Number one, release the fire and arrows of God at them. Number two, command them and carry their Lord and go. Command them and carry their Lord and go. Number three, feed them with their own bread of sorrow and affliction, which they have been bringing before you so that they can feed on their own food. Number four, Command them to be buried in the grave they have dug for you. Number five, command their busting to become empty. Number six, command the boiling anger of the Lord to fall on them. Number seven, pray for a reconstruction, a replacement of which they have stolen. That is a return to your original design. Now, however, if you have not surrendered your life to Jesus, you can now invite God to redesign your life. If you want to give your life to Christ, please say the following prayers. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. I acknowledge that I am a sinner. Forgive my sin and cleanse me with your blood. I renounce the devil and all his work. Come into my life, Lord Jesus, and take control of my life in the name of Jesus.